What's up internet? My name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I look a little crazy. Uh, the day I'm filming this is Pokemon Ghost Community Day and the Pokemon is Beldum. So I'll have a picture of him right over here. And on Community Days, I really like to pull inspiration from the Pokemon. And so this is what I have so far of it. I still have to complete a lot more on makeup. I'm looking really pale right now. I'm good. I need to stop going so pale with my foundations and so I don't have to heap up so much bronzer but here we are now. So today's video has nothing to do with my eyeshadow, has nothing to do with my foundation. This is going to be a concealer battle against the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and then the Joa um, Truly Yours Full Coverage Concealer. So this is a $6 concealer. This is a $28, $29 concealer but the reason why I am putting I am battling these two up against each other is because the um, Joa Beauty one is 0.53 ounces and then the Born This Way full coverage concealer is 0.5 ounces so they are about the same amount of product so I wanted to figure out okay like do they stack up against each other now Joa is a um, brand that I know people kind of talked about when they first came out. Um, I know some people have done videos about it, but Joa is a K-Beauty inspired brand. You can only purchase them at CVS. You can't even purchase their products through Joa Beauty's website. I actually didn't fully review the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I thought that putting them against each other and figuring out, should you go for the $6 router? Should you pluck down like triple the amount of money? Not triple. No, more than triple <laughs> and then chunk out a lot more money for the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I have done this battle quite a few times already just kind of testing it out making sure you know okay what am I doing so I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to do an application test. So I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and since I've been holding it with my left hand I'm going to apply it to my left side of my face. Since I've actually done this a few times before, I know that the Born This Way concealer is a better shade match for me, so I'm going to do that down the nose and everything. And for this, um, to blend out the Too Faced eyes, I'm going to use my Morphe sponge. I haven't used this in a minute, but I have used this sponge with my um, with the Too Faced concealer, so I know um, how how it's going to go with it. So this is the Too Faced side. Um, what I really noticed, I have noticed with this foundation, or not foundation, this concealer, that it is pretty freaking cakey, um, but it blends out really well into the skin very nicely and easily. And so now I'm going to try go into the Joa concealer and then I'm going to be using my Japanese sponge. And I'm using this sponge because I've also used it with this concealer, so again, I know how it works together. Now the problem I've already noticed with this concealer is that A, it's a, it's A, it's a squeezy tube, so it's a different applicator. I've never used a concealer that's a squeezy tube, so it's been a learning curve for me to figure out how do I use. Also, this concealer dries down way faster than the Too Faced concealer, so I, I think I've just been dabbing it onto my hand. And going that way so I'm gonna see how that goes just do a little amount and just kind of work in bits I am also just doing my under eyes so it shouldn't be that hard you see it's a it's a lot lighter it's a lot lighter but by the time I do powder and everything it should balance itself out actually so but what I have noticed with this concealer is that not only it's really light but it also seems to pick up like the foundation underneath uh, which is kind of pretty freaking frustrating um, to say the least um, I you don't need right now it feels like I don't need a lot of product but like up close I'm seeing like a lot more coverage on the Too Faced eyes and on the Joa side it also just because it's lighter and I'm thinking differently um but it just even in my past test like especially on my nose it just felt like it was picking the foundation up underneath so even though I need to use way less product than a Too Faced one like I just put a light tiny dip on my hand and it's kind of flying out but I didn't put that much but it feels like I still have to apply more 
again that might be a learning curve for me because this is a very quick drying concealer that I'm not used to at all so maybe I just need to work even faster than what I'm doing but yeah so this is the Too Faced side and then this is the Joa Beauty side and you can still see like a little bit of my redness picking through there so now I'm going to set my under eyes with my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and I'm going to go back into the Morphe sponge because it's a lot cleaner. I'm just going to use the other side of it. Okay, so here is kind of like all where I put the concealer fully powdered. I'm going to zoom you guys just a little bit closer. So looking at the Too Faced side, I don't know what you guys can tell, but it to me, it definitely looks a lot cakier on this side, whereas on the Joa, Joa Beauty side, it it doesn't look as near as cakey. Um, and I did put the same amount, I feel like I put quite a bit amount of product, because it, with the Too Faced one, I kind of broke it out a little bit more, because I feel like I need to use that. I feel like I need to have that initial coverage, whereas the Joa jo one, I don't know. But I have noticed in my tests already that there's been less cakiness on the Joa side, where there's definitely more on the Too Faced. Alright, so I have you guys zoomed back out. This will only be a second for you, but I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup. We'll chat maybe a little bit more, see if I notice anything more and different. And then towards the end of the day, I will do a follow-up to see, okay, which one does really pan out. So I will see you in a couple seconds. Okay, so I'm back. Here is the finished look. All I really did to the under eyes was take a little bit of the Hourglass um, Ambient lighting, Diffuse Lighting Powder. And I kind of sweep that with a fluffy brush underneath my eyes. I'm just, it's not a lot, but just try to bring a little bit more luminance, luminance to that. But I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can see if there's any changes or anything. So here we are even zoomed in again. There really hasn't been any changes um, in the past 30 minutes. It took me 30 minutes to do the rest of my makeup. Oh well. Uh, it's Saturday, I have the time. But yeah, except for the ambient lighting powder, um, it didn't change really anything to the look underneath my eyes. Everything looks about the same. Um, the Joa side still looks pretty solid. There's another crease, but I don't think that's the concealer. I think that's just my face. And yeah, there is heavy creasing, okay? I'm 25 years old, you know what? I don't really care about creasing. And then the Too Faced side still looks a little bit more cakey. Alright, so I'm going to go through the rest of my day. I'm going to take some selfies when we have a little more light outside. I want to play some Pokemon Go, enjoy the community day, catch some Beldums. Hopefully get a shiny. Fingers crossed for that. And I will come back later at the end of the day. I don't know how long the wear test is going to be. Um, it's like 9.15 right now. And usually my entire makeup is done by 6.30. So I'm just, we're just going to see, see how it goes, but I will see you guys in about 30 seconds. Hey, I'm back. So according to my phone, it is now 519. There we go. Got to have the official time check. And at this point during the day, I'd probably take off my makeup at any point now. And I put, I had all of my makeup done by like, I can't even remember. I can't, um, but my makeup was usually done by 6.30 in the morning. It was hours after that, so this is not a full way, full day wear test in my day to day. And I'm not going to zoom you guys in because honestly, there's no point. I checked my um, concealer around like noon or 2 o'clock or something. I've kind of been checking out through checking it out periodically throughout the day. Honestly, there really hasn't been a change. I mean, there's been a little bit of cakiness build up, like with the powder and everything underneath, and that happens with any concealer. Like this it happens um nothing has changed um since i kind of been checking on it and i know unless i stick, keep my makeup on till 10 11 o'clock at night maybe something will change but at this point i don't think really anything is going to so who wins <laughs> who wins well first of all i'm gonna give you some more information Joe Beauty is for sure cruelty free. I did double check on their website. They do have the PS certification. I know it's not leaving bunny certified, but some kind of cruelty free uh, certification. So it does make me at least comfortable that I did purchase from a cruelty free brand when I should have done more research before purchasing it. Again, this is six shades, six or seven dollars. 
20 shades. I don't know why I thought this was 30 shades, um, but it's 20 shades, $29. 0.53 ounces, 0.5 ounces. Now, in terms of wear test, I think I just said it. The way I felt in the morning is pretty much how I feel now. Um, there's like a little bit more creasing on the other side because I have this one really weird wrinkle, like slightly, I can't point to it because I can't see it in my monitor. But basically, there's one right there and it's only on this side. I have no idea why, but it's there and it has nothing to do with the concealers. Um, I have creasing underneath both my eyes because I'm getting older and that's just life. So. Um, that doesn't but hurt me about concealer. It's just it's something that I acknowledge in my face, um, so I'm fine with it. Now, in lighting, so this the Joe Beauty side does look lighter, but it also has a natural lighting. The Too Faced concealer it looks a tad darker, but it also has like the artificial lighting. But as I was checking it throughout the day, like in the bathroom, they don't look like barely any different. If you didn't know I was wearing two different concealers, would you notice? That's what I want to know from you guys. Would you really think, oh, something's off? I don't think I would if I was watching somebody else's video. Also, I'm really oblivious, so you tell me. But at the end of the day, the only thing that stops me from saying completely go for this and don't go for this is the shade range. Shade range is a very controversial and big topic and the darkest one of this like it is like a cool tone tan I don't know if that even makes sense it's very cool tone um and then Too Faced obviously has a far better shade range with 20 shades but it thinking about all of it to me it just doesn't make sense to spend $30 on a concealer anymore I have uh, most of my concealers are are drugstore um except for the NARS which I'm working on and that when when that's gone I'm not going to repurchase it I think I have the Too Faced one I don't know what else is in there everything else is drugstore I don't see the point the only thing that would make me want to say Too Faced over Joa is if there was like ingredients that were making this um born this concealer stand out and there's not um there's not ingredients on their on their bottle it's cool, but there's, there's nothing, like, especially in the working, there's nothing that Too Faced is, like, touting that makes this concealer stand out, okay, conceal, contour, highlight, retouch, well, that's a freaking concealer, or that's a freaking contour, like, there's nothing special about that with the Joa concealer, yeah, you can't freaking contour with this, um, in terms of, like, dryness or anything underneath the eyes, my, both my under eyes feel fine, they don't feel they don't feel dry they don't feel like oily or anything um obviously the joe side feels a lot smoother because it's not as kinky and Too Faced side is a little bit kinky a little bit more texture again again that doesn't bother me but yeah i think it really is the lack of like promotion of ingredients that makes it the Too Faced one really reminds me of the heart concealer and the fact that it's just not good enough like I just don't see the point. I don't get the same amount of kinkiness with my with my affordable concealers. I don't. I've been using the Catrice concealers for months trying to pan them. And I didn't have this really cakey problem. I mean, I had dryness here and there, but that's because I would use too much of a drying powder when I don't use I know which um powders really dry up my under eyes and when I don't use them, it's fine. The two the the tart I'm bringing the tartan because I finished that one up. I think it was officially technically in a project pan. Well, spoilers, it's dead. I don't like that in my MRIs because again, it's too kinky. And with the tart, it was like you use only a tiny bit amount and it's like you don't you have to use the smallest amount or otherwise it's too much. But with the Too Faced, it's the same amount of coverage. Like really it is. But then you have to use so much more. And you get the same result like that just confuses me and yes for me there is a learning curve with this being a fast drawing i don't think the concealer oxidized on my face i think it's just a different concealer application that i'm just not used to yet i think i need to play with different brushes i think i need to play with different application techniques even more just to find the right way for this to work with me but that's all my real complaint i like this concealer will i continue to use it Absolutely. Um, it was really freaking 
enjoy both mediums and I'm glad that I made the purchase. I'm not mad that I made the Too Faced Born This Way purchase. I mean, it's a fine concealer. Oh, but that's it for today's video. This was kind of a lackluster ending. I like both concealers. I'm going to be reaching for, but being totally honest, I'm going to reach for the Joa a lot more than I'm going to reach for the Too Faced because I like the finish. And I have other concealers that I can use with it to make it a little um, more darker to change the color type of it. But I was, I do plan on making more purchases from J.O. Beauty in the future. I meant to do that today and I just kind of talked myself out of it. I do want to do a full phase of affordable makeup. So that will be coming once I kind of decide on what everything I want to get. Because I'm being very indecisive in what exactly I want. So, but when I have everything, you will be seeing that video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Central Time. Potential to change on that time, but I would love to see you on my next video. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Kayla with a C, Hayes with a Z. That's Kayla Hayes. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.